Questions that I get asked most often are why the career change to education, why now, and why math? And really to answer those questions, I have to go all the way back to when I was 17 years old and I decided to become an engineer because I liked math and science. My definition of success at the time was pretty simple. It was to make a lot of money and work my way up the corporate ladder. As I achieved this success, I realized that there's a lot more to my own personal definition than I originally thought. I knew that I was missing a passion for what I was getting up and doing every day. So I, I really began to listen to my heart. I knew deep down that there was a bigger story for me out there. I, I knew that there was an energy in me that wasn't being utilized at the time and that the impact that I am meant to make on the world is just not in corporate America. I remember the exact moment when I realized teaching is what I want to be doing. I had actually happened to be watching a morning show's clip of their Teacher of the Year candidate and I was fascinated by this classroom. The students were working in a cooperative learning environment, they were gathering their own data, and they were finding their own solutions at their own pace. I kind of sat back and I thought, wow, these kids are learning what it's like to be in the real world because they're using skills that I use daily as an engineer. My very first thought was, we need more teachers like this. And then kind of my aha moment came because I realized, wait a minute, this, this is what I want to be doing. I can take all my skills that I've learned outside the classroom and I can bring them into the classroom and really prepare students for life after high school. Why math? Because math is all about problem solving. And I want my students to be able to leave my classroom with the ability to persevere to find a solution to a problem that no one's going to give them the answer to. It doesn't matter who you are, at some point in your life you're going to be faced with an obstacle. And for a student to have that familiarity and the confidence to find a solution to a problem is really at the core of who I am as a teacher. There are too many people that just throw their hands up and they say, I can't do math. And for me, that just isn't true because no matter the subject area, there are so many different ways for a student to learn. So the first thing that I do when I'm working with a student is to have them explain what they're doing because that really gives me the insight as to how they learn. My students are always, always hesitant at first because what they're expecting is me to do the explaining. But when I can hear it in their words and when I can hear their thinking and see their approach or an entry point into a problem, that's where learning really comes alive for me and it helps me guide them as their teacher. No matter the path, when a student is leading the approach, that is when learning happens and that's really when a student's confidence grows. I absolutely love what I do every day. My students fuel my spirit, they keep me energized all day long, and they really fuel my desire to be the best version of myself. My goal is to not only get my students invested in learning math, but invested in their futures as well. I really want them to recognize that they're valuable contributors to our society and that each and every one of them, they can make their own impact on the world today. My path to becoming a teacher was by no means a straight one, but I wouldn't change it for a second. My experiences, they've really made me a better teacher for my students. I have found my story and my impact on the world. It's right here in the classroom.